Hi, my name is Matt Joy, and in this presentation, I will be discussing the common misconceptions about those of us who enjoy listening to heavy metal music. This presentation will talk about my family life, the concert atmosphere, listening tendencies, and finally, clothing and dress. As a kid, my dad always played guitar. He began when he was 16 years old, and it's one of, the, one of his favorite hobbies. It was a common occurrence when he would just go in the basement at night, and I would just follow him as a little kid and just watch. I never knew what songs he was playing. I just knew he sounded cool, he looked cool, and it was something I wanted to do just to be just like my dad. My parents went to high school in the late 80s and the early 90s, so the music of their time was, of course, rock and metal. My mom was a fan of more girly things, Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue, etc., hair metal, basically. While my dad, however, was a fan of heavy metal, such as Metallica, Slayer, Anthrax, and whatnot. I grew up in a very normal, very loving household with two parents who would do whatever they could for me and my little sister. Though my dad always listened to metal, we listened to classic rock in the car, and we always hung out as a family together. The common misconception in this is that multiple family members enjoying music automatically must mean that they are scary and the whole family's crazy. But this is just not true. Now, though the concert atmosphere for this genre does seem intense, and it can be intense, don't get me wrong, this just isn't always the case. People at these shows just want to enjoy themselves. They want to listen to their music, move around a little bit, get to know each other. It's nothing crazy. A major assumption is that everyone is way too aggressive, and it's just not true. Many people do get annoyed when the crowd gets too aggressive and too intense. They're just trying to listen to their music, and they just want to avoid being harmed in any way. The culture of a show is very unique, though. As I have said before, everyone there just wants to have fun and enjoy the music. Though some people may have long hair and some crazy tattoos, not everybody does. Plenty of times I've seen people who look about my age with their dad or something like that just enjoying the show. Also, bands don't try to incite violence like people do typically assume. The lead singer of the band Slayer, one of the most controversial bands of all time, is quoted as saying, Listen, you guys up front here? Keep an eye out for each other, all right? If you see someone going down, help them out, all right? That's what we're here to do, help each other out. Now, crowds are not what most people would accept, expect. It's not always men, it's not always adults, and it's not always big people that are freaky and crazy into the music. In my experience, I've seen boyfriends and girlfriends, dads and sons, twin brothers, girlfriends, sisters, it's crazy. The diversity of these concerts truly is amazing. My first concert experience was when I was in the third grade. My dad took me across the street to the Nassau Coliseum to see Iron Maiden. The first thing I noticed when I walked in was the amount of little kids that looked my age and even younger. Even though the band was at, playing at a larger venue and it was not like the real setting of your typical metal show, it showed me the excitement of what a real metal show could be like. After that initial night, I knew I wanted more. The atmosphere is something I feel like every music fan needs to experience. The people care about the music and the artists care about the fans. That being said, I've been to nine concerts in my life and almost all have been in little playhouse style venues and the feeling is just indescribable. I'd much rather go to a small venue than a large Nassau Coliseum type arena just for the simple fact of how intimate and close to the band you really feel. Now when I was in the seventh grade, I met drummer Chris Adler from heavy metal Lamb of God, a band not many people really have heard of, but they're one of my favorites. At an expo he held, had on Long Island, he took questions, met fans, did autographs, it was really cool. As you can see, he does fit the stereotype with the long hair and the crazy tattoos and all that, but he was actually the nicest guy I ever met, and my dad even agreed with me. He was so down to earth, and he was easy to have a conversation with, and he was happy to answer any questions from a young 7th grade kid like myself. Now believe it or not, in the nine shows I've been to, the female presence is higher than anybody would ever expect. Girls do love the music. They even show up at the concerts with hair, their hair crazy, tattoos, their boyfriends. They just have a great time. I know this presentation is about metal music, but that doesn't mean I'm obsessed or, or fixated on it at all. I'm actually a really big rap fan too. In fact, I've seen Drake in concert, and I'm seeing Pittsburgh-based rapper Mac Miller in concert in December. My friends introduced me to the genre early on in high school, and I do enjoy it a lot. Another common genre of interest is country, because it's almost the anti-metal. 
It's a soft, soothing change-up, and most people like to keep the guitar and drum elements that metal do, metal and country do share. Now, like I said, my friends have introduced me to styles of music that actually do interest me. It was always like the odd man out when it came to playing music when we hung out, so once I got into the same types of music, my fluency in music overall just increased dramatically. And I even showed them a few things, too. Now, as I previously stated, country is a change of pace alternative to the aggressive style of metal. And many people do enjoy a nice change for family time or when they're not with non-metal fans. But the real go-to in these situations is classic rock. Classic rock is where metal has its true origins when the bands like Black Sabbath, Metallica, etc. paved the way for what is called aggressive or thrash metal. Now, people tend to assume that metal fans only wear concert shirts and jeans. And as I go to more and more shows, I found that a rising number of concert goers are wearing Under Armour and Nike and other sports clothing brands, mainly to, due to how hot the venues do get. And these clothes just work better under these conditions to absorb the sweat. Now, in class, we watched the Dietschy's single story presentation, and she warns us of the dangers of a single story. This applies to the stereotype of metal fans because the most common people see the makeup and the rare fans who fit the aspects of the real stereotypes, and they just assume that's just the way it is. Metal fans are scary, weird people who throw their bodies into each other at concerts for fun. Now, this statement just simply is untrue. As you can tell from this presentation, a vast amount of fans of metal don't fit that blanket remark. There's just so many things that go against this common belief, and that it can be seen that this statement is too broad. Now, if this sentence began with some metal fans, then okay, yeah, you have a point. But it didn't, so there's just no validity to it. Now, I hope that after viewing my presentation, you realize that metal fans aren't totally bad people. They just like to have fun and listen to a unique musical brand that very few people listen to nowadays. If you want to broaden your music horizons, don't be afraid to listen to a little metal. You may surprise yourself and find out it's not so bad after all. And most importantly, as the old cliche goes, never judge a book by its cover.